Hey everybody. What we got here is a very old, well, very old, but it's pretty old. It's a Sears Hallmark Cooler window fan. Um, now this one, it's pretty interesting. I've, I can't say I've seen one of these before in person, although I have seen them before online. Um, and it's in okay condition. It's, I think it's just dirty and needs to be clean. This is before I've done anything to it. So this is kind of like a pre sort of quote unquote restoration. Um, but other than that, it's got everything present. So, um, at least from what I can tell. So here's your badge on the front there. Very nice. Hallmark cooler by Sears Roebuck and Company. I think it's very nice and it's got this nice sort of zigzaggy wire mesh grill. Very interesting. Um, well, it looks like that it's not on all the way. Um, the sides are stamped and they have sort of the same kind of pattern on the other side as well. So, and then the back side, it's got a little bit of rust stain, but the blade turns freely, so that's a great sign. Um, the motor turns freely as well, which is another good sign. Um, so this was up in somebody's attic of their house. Um, I got it for free off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. They called, or I, I contacted them. Um, when I picked it up, they had me go up in the attic that it was, I presumed, where it was installed and haul it down the stairs. It's very heavy. Um, so, yeah, the blade pitch, as you can see, is extremely steep um, and it's got a big old Craftsman motor in there. I can't really tell what model it is. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know, can see through here. You can definitely see the Craftsman label. Looks like it is continuous duty. Uh, I can't really tell RPM. Yeah, it's, the label gets a little too dirty under there. Okay, and then it also has a switch right here. That is, um, I've seen videos and um, the videos of all the ones I've seen, this is a two-speed switch. So I thought it might be a, either a two-speed switch or like a forward intake exhaust switch um i don't know so i'm going to attempt to power this up now the reason why i i, I got this over the or actually it was like two days ago but i haven't powered it up yet because of this so there's no way i was going to plug that in um so i'm going to wire it up to this test cord here um this is just going to be for testing purposes eventually i'll get a actual like heavy duty plug on here um, maybe eventually replace the cord with a three-wire grounded cord. I don't know. Um, oh, and another thing is this uh, part right here is, like, extendable. So you can adjust this this part here. It slides in and out. So you can adjust it to whatever size window you want. It's very handy. I just thought that was interesting. And then this piece is for mounting it. I guess, I think this was added by the owner. And this is also another one of those pieces there on the other side. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, wire that up and see if I can't get this thing to turn. All right, and about five seconds later, I have those little prongs remaining from the old plug cut off. And I have a new, well, new, quote, cord. This is just for testing purposes, like I said. Um, now I have no idea what position this switch is. Oh, it looks like it's labeled. High is up and low is down so in the middle must be off so that'll be off so i can plug it in and it won't turn on without me expecting it so let's plug it in hopefully it won't explode okay it's plugged in and now let's let's see i'm going to turn it on with my foot in case anything blows up so i'll start it on high It works. It's 
pretty quiet too. It's much quieter than that one. In case you haven't seen my other videos of that one there. Alright, let's try low. Oh, I like that. I like that this one's got two speeds. Oh yeah, that's nice and powerful. I'll definitely be using this one this summer. Of course, that motor probably could stand to be lubricated, as could the shaft for the motor. And that belt, I'm pretty sure, is original. It's not in the best shape, so it probably could stand to be replaced. Um, which would probably quiet it down even more because it is, I don't know, it's not that loud. Just a little rattly. But yeah, I probably definitely could use some lubrication. All right, let's see, spin down. Yeah, being a belt fan, it has a short spin down. Um, let's start it up again on high. to say it, it actually performs better on high than it does on low, honestly. It's, it runs smoother, at least. Interesting. Let's spin it down directly from high. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so yeah, this one is definitely comparable to this one, which I've mentioned in the past. This one was the, uh, quote, mystery window fan, the belt mystery belt drive window fan that I restored a couple years ago back when we still lived at the old house. And um, this one I actually discovered recently is an Atlas fan company brand uh, window fan. It's just missing the badge. That would be, I think, like somewhere down here in, in this area. Or maybe up here. I don't know. Um, but somebody commented on my other video this one. I did restore that one. I haven't made a video of that one post-restoration. It looks like I need to uh, clean the blades off a little more. Um, but this one is... I like this one a lot. I think this one needs to be cleaned a bit. And then it'll be really nice. Um, let's see if that motor's... Motor's not hot at all. Okay. I want to. I want to start it up from this side. Start it up on low. I don't think we've started up. Started it up from low this at all. Excellent. I'm very happy with this one. Absolutely free. And they were probably going to throw it away if nobody took it. And who, who knows how long it's been since this thing has run anyways. It, it started right back up like nothing. Can you say quality? Okay. Spin her down. So yeah, it only blows out one direction, which is that way. It's only meant for exhaust, because um, this was kind of designed to be like installed in a window with that's why this side isn't guarded because that that side could be outside it was fine all right so um yeah i think that's about it so thank you for watching hey guys one last thing i just shot some zoom spout into the front and rear oil ports of the motor you can't see because it's focusing on the grill for some reason. Come on. There you go. You see right there, that oil port right there, I just you just it's the exact same design as the motor on the the Atlas. Um it's just like a spring-loaded brass cap that you flip open and you can shoot some oil down there. And then there's another one on the back there. As you can see. So, I put some oil in there. I also took these two screws, the two flathead screws out from the bearing on top of the blade stand there, uh, the belt drive bearing, and I put some oil in there. I also put some oil in the 
front of the shaft and the rear of the shaft. I'm not sure if that'll help, but I think I will eventually take that bearing off because unlike the bearing in this one, this one's got, I think they're, they're not sealed, but there's two bearings. You, can, you can't see again because it's focusing on the grill. But yeah, you can see it's two bearings there. This one is a single long uh, bronze bearing. Um, and it's porous bronze, so it only accepts 30 weight oil that doesn't clog it up. So let's, um, enough rambling, let's go ahead and turn it on, start it on high, see how smooth it runs now compared to before. Oops. Oh, I <laughs> would help if I plugged it in, wouldn't it? Okay, let's try that again. Hi. I think when it's sort of slow there at the beginning there at first was the centrifugal switch kicking in or something like that. I don't even know if this motor has a centrifugal switch. I'm guessing it does, just because that one does. I don't know. I think this one is newer than that one. I'm not exactly sure when this one's from. Oh yeah. Alright, let's try low. That's nice. No guard on there. You stick your hand in there, it'll chop it right off. Probably how much torque this motor has. Yeah, if you're going to use these, at least around like kids or something, I'd recommend getting some sort of screen or guard to go over the front. If you're not using them as like window fans, if you're using them like I do for like all purpose. So on this one too, you can just put a nice screen over the front there. Keep people from sticking their fingers in those blades. Alright. I'm gonna put it back to the put it back up to high. Spin it down once more. See if the spin down's any better. Uh, it might be a little better. I feel like it'll definitely get better if I get a new belt for it, which I may do. I probably have to get a new belt for this one too. That one's belt is original as well, I believe. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that's about it for this video. Um, this time for real. Um, I don't know what this thing is. This is oh, that's that's. Whatever it is, it's like glued on there. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and more to come.